We know a remote farm in Lincolnshire, where Mrs. Buckley lives. Every July, peas grow there. Do you really mean that? Uh, yes. So, in other words, I, I, I'd start half a second later. Don't you think you really want to say July over the snow? Isn't that the fun of it? It's if, uh, if you, uh, uh, if you can make it almost when that shot disappears, uh, it'll make more... I think it's so nice that, that you can see a snow-covered field and say, Every July, peas grow there. We know a remote farm in Lincolnshire, where Mrs. Buckley lives. Every July, peas grow there. They aren't even in the fields, you see. We're talking about them growing, and she's picked them. <clears throat> what? In July. I don't understand you. What must, what must be over for July? Uh, when we get out to that snowy field. Well, I was out. We were onto a can of peas, a big... Dish of peas when I said in July. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Orson. Yes, always. I'm always past that. You are? Yes. That's about where I say in July. Can you emphasize a bit in in July? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Sorry. There's no known way of saying an English sentence in which you begin a sentence with in and then emphasize it. Get me a jury to show me how you can say in July and I'll... Make cheese for you. That's just idiotic if you'll forgive me by saying so. That's just stupid. In July. I'd love to know how you emphasize in, in, in July. Impossible. Meaningless. I think they were thinking about that they didn't want to... He isn't thinking. Orson, can we just do one last time? Yeah. And it was my fault. I should have said in July if you could just leave every July. You didn't say it. He said it. I said every July. Your friend. Every July? So after this shot... No, you don't really mean every July. It is. But that's that's bad copy. It's in July. Of course it's every July. There's too much directing around here. Norway. Fish fingers. Findus Norway. We know a certain fjord in Norway. Near where the cod gather in great shoals. There... Jan Stan... Stan de Gilligan. Oh, shoot. A fraction more on that Shoals thing, because you rolled it around very nicely. Yeah, roll it around and I have no more time. You don't know what I'm up against, because it's full of, of things that are only correct because they're grammatical. But they're tough on the ear, you see. This is a very wearing one. It's unpleasant to read. Unrewarding. Because Findus frees the card at sea... And then add a crumb crisp, oh, a crumb crisp coating. Ah, that's tough. Crumb crisp coating. I think, no, because of the way it's written, you need to break it up because it's not, uh, it's not as conversationally written. What? Take crumb out. That's the one. Take crumb out. Good. Here under protest is beef burgers. We know a little place in the American Far West where Charlie Briggs chops up the finest prairie-fed beef and tastes... This is a lot of garbage, you realize that. You want one more? I do, actually. More on buck beef? You missed the first beef, actually, completely. What do you mean, missed it? You're emphasizing prairie-fed. But you can't emphasize beef. That's like he's wanting me to emphasize in before July. Come on, fellas, you're losing your heads. I wouldn't direct any living actor like this in Shakespeare. Will you do this? It's impossible. Uh, Orson, uh, you did six last year, and by far and away the best. And I know the, the reason... The right reading for this is the one I'm giving it. For the moment. I spent 20 times more for you people than any other commercial I've ever made. You are such pests. Now, what is it you want? Now, I think... In the depths of your ignorance, what is it you want? Whatever it is you want, I can't deliver it because I just don't see it. That was that was absolutely fine. It really was. You, here, you... You know what? You know what? This isn't worth it. No money is worth listening to this. Quack. In July. In July, of course.